Well, fans of the book Heaven is for Real have been eagerly awaiting uh, April the 16th because the movie about that same title opens in theaters nationwide. And Ephraim Graham went behind the scenes to bring us this preview of Heaven is for Real. Millions have read the bright yellow book, Heaven is for Real. There were going to be two groups making this movie. And Sony Pictures tapped screenwriter and film director Randall Wallace to bring the bestseller to the big screen. Nervous about tackling the afterlife and what happens when you die? I think nervous is, uh, is, is probably uh, a good term. It was certainly in that field and uh, from between nervous and sheer terror. Hello, who's Todd? Well, I'm surprised to hear that. Okay. Can you hold on? Honey, did you punch a kid in the nose today? Mm-hmm. With your fist? Yep. But not one kid. Two. This well, is the Burpo story. story. An ordinary it's Nebraska so family facing extraordinary right circumstances. No. Their four-year-old son, Colton, nearly dies undergoes emergency surgery and awakes with undeniable visions of a trip to heaven. Yes, Colton. Did you know I have a sister? You didn't know that Cassie's your sister? No, I have two sisters. You had a baby die in your tummy, didn't you? Honey, who told you I had a baby die in my tummy? In heaven, this little girl came up to me. She told me she died in your tummy. I understand you put yourself through the first year of seminary teaching karate. Did you, did you, did the seminary training help for this film? The seminary training was wonderful for me in this, in that um, I, I studied religion. I grew up in tent revivals and, and, uh, and you always think about uh, heaven in, in those contexts. And the great thing about that is that, that heaven is presented as something glorious. That glorious presentation comes from a four-year-old. We don't ever have to be scared. Is that why you wanted to come back, show me you weren't afraid? It's important. What about the hospital? How do you feel about that? Does that scare you? No, that's where the angels sang to me. The angels sang to you? Yes. When? During the operation when mom was in one room talking on the phone and you were in another room yelling at God. Connor Corum plays Colton in his very first acting role. Connor, what was your favorite part of, of making this film? When I got to see myself throw up. You got to see yourself throw up? <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? How did you do that? Mm, I had to drink yucky and juice. And then I threw up. Oh, they're singing. <laughs> Todd's home. Oscar nominated actor Greg Kinnear plays Colton's dad, Todd. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's such a good idea. Might be a little sad or. A little scary. In bringing the role of Todd Burpo to the screen, I'm sure you, you know, spent time with him. What did you think you had to do? What, what did you want to bring to the... Well, he's passionate um, and, uh, you know, has a strong, um, you know, clearly a strong faith and a strong conviction about what he believes and a great love of his, of his children. And, and, and I think that, that those were the, uh, the things for me to really try to translate as, as strongly to the audience. Uh, as possible. Todd is also a firefighter, pastor, and a man struggling to understand what his son experienced and what to do about it. That struggle helped him write the book. When did you first come to the Burpo story? When did you first learn of it? I, uh, I learned of it through uh, Randall Wallace. I wasn't familiar with the book. I thought that turning it into a screenplay would be uh, not easy to do. It's a tough thing to pull off so that it doesn't you know, it doesn't feel like a two-hour sermon, that it, that it tells you a story, an honest story. And, and, uh, and I thought he did an amazing job in, in, in doing that. Ephraim Graham, CBN News, Los Angeles.
Today's the big day, Wendy. All righty. Well, when we come back, you'll meet the real Colton Burpo and his parents. Find out what they think of the movie based on their best-selling book. Plus, you'll hear Colton Burpo sing about heaven. Wow. I have a son who's extremely smart and sensitive. He went to heaven. I came back. One true story has become a worldwide sensation. You saw heaven? It's beautiful. Now, Heaven is for Real is a profoundly beautiful movie. They don't believe me, do they? Some people might be afraid to believe. That will help many to believe. Is heaven a hope or as real as the earth and sky? A perfect family film. Heaven is for Real. Rated PG. Today, when the movie Heaven is for Real opens at the box office, Colton Burpo and his parents will once again be in the spotlight. Well, last week, Pat interviewed the Burpo family in our studio, and he discovered that 14-year-old Colton is now not only talking about Heaven, he's also singing about it. Here's Pat. Well, the book is Heaven is for Real. The movie is opening today. And please welcome back to the 700 Club, Todd, Sonia, and Colton Burpo. What did you guys think of the movie? We loved it. Uh, after uh, three years of waiting, you know, people don't know all the steps. But uh, what we have today, and at the end of the day, they've kept true to their, their word to tell Colton's story, Colton's way. And, and we're really thrilled with it. It's easy for us to endorse this film. Sure. Well, I want to ask you, you know, uh, you, your father's book had little snippets. So you did this and that, that and the other. Well, what happened to you? Well, I had appendicitis. And during that time, what happened? Well, during the first surgery that I had, that's when I got to see heaven. But you left your body. You didn't die. Left your body. Yeah. Um, I could look down and I could see my body and then I could see my mom in one room and she was on the phone talking and praying Then my dad was in another room and he was praying and yelling at the same time. When you got there, what was heaven like? Heaven feels like home. Yeah. I mean, we were made to be there with God. So it's just amazing the first time you get to be there. Yeah. All right. You saw Jesus? Yeah. And he, I spent most of my time in heaven with Jesus. Yeah. Well, there may as many people want to see Jesus. How come you? Or did he have time for everybody and you just didn't understand how it worked? Um, at the time, he was with me a lot. But if I wasn't with him, I was with my great grandpa and my sister. What'd you think? W w w did you understand this little boy came back? Did you believe him when he first came back? Well, at first, uh, I've always believed in heaven, but I didn't know what I believed about near-death experiences. Uh -huh. That was something that, uh, it was a journey for me to sit down and, and realize that what my son was telling me really happened. Mm -hmm. um, I think, you know, being a person who grew up reading scripture, trusting scripture, and now here's, here's a child talking to me about what he saw. But for me, the advantage was, as a parent, you know when a four-year-old's telling you the truth, and you know when a four-year-old cannot invent the things he's saying. And I know what he get, get, gets taught at church. There's no way he had the depth, uh, the understanding, the things he was sharing. He couldn't read at the time, and he was talking mm -hmm. about things that no four-year-old's ever going to read in Scripture or be taught in church, and he was still right. And so it took me a while, but finally I realized that he was spot on, and, and this was true. <laughs> You didn't want a movie to be made of this, why not? No. Well, I, the integrity of the story. Uh, I remember in my first discussion, especially with Joe Roth, I was like, Joe, would you do anything that would violate your relationship with one of your sons or your children? He says, never. I said, that's my problem. At the end of the day, whatever you put up on the screen, my boy's going to see it, and he's going to hold me responsible for what you did. I'm not going to take that risk. And so that was, that was my big concern. Mm. Sonia, tell me about that child you lost, that little girl. What happened? When Colton came back and said he saw two sisters, he, um, he came in and announced it like, this is the way it is, don't you know? Well, we hadn't told him. Do you, do you, do you believe, did you believe what he was telling you when he came back, or were you skeptical of it? Uh, when he said he met his sister, that pretty that much solidified it, because we didn't share that with too many people, and, and especially with him. How did, how did he know? Colton, what else you got to tell us about heaven? I mean, that, that, how long were you there? Well, 
For some reason, I said I was there for three minutes. But it's kind of hard to grasp that I could experience all of what I saw in three minutes. Well, you say it was kind of like home. I mean, with the, you know, I've heard about flowers and beautiful birds and all that stuff and singing. Was it any of that that you saw? Um, yes, there were a bunch of plant life. There was water. There were people. And there were animals in heaven. Animals? People ask us about dogs. Did you see dogs? I'm for horses. They had horses up there, didn't they? Oh, yes. They had horses. <laughs> they had dogs. Did they had they? cats. They had lions. Pretty much every animal we have down here on earth is up in heaven. And they're all tame, though. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Well, you weren't scared, though, were you? Little boy, little, little fella. You, you, you were at peace all the time? Well, not at first. No, no, in the no. hospital he was, but what was the first thing Jesus did for you? Well... When I started to rise out of my body and I could see my body and then my parents in separate rooms, I was scared out of my mind. I didn't know what was happening. But I was sitting on Jesus' lap and he had the angels sing to me to calm me down. What else do you want people to take away from that movie or from this experience? Well, I think in the movie it's very honest. And one of the things that's really good is it talks about broken pieces that people carry. And you don't have to apologize to me if there's a broken part inside you. Mm -hmm. And I think it's going to be really good for people to come to this and, and hear from Colton and hopefully get some of those broken parts healed. They can talk about it. They can share about it. But most importantly, I hope that people realize that what Jesus did for Colton, he wants to do for you, too. Yeah. He wants to do for everybody. And if you just let Jesus do that in your life, there's nothing he did for Colton that he doesn't want to do for everybody else. Mm -hmm. Incredible. Well, the movie, folks, is called Heaven is for Real. It opens in theaters nationwide on April 16th. A special edition of the book Heaven is for Real is also available wherever books are sold. Uh, we leave now with Colton Burpo singing Heaven. Still ahead.